Hello, and welcome to another Joyful Gem with Audrey Joy. The day I wrote this gem was a difficult one in my neighborhood. There's just 25 homes in our little loop, and we had to say goodbye to one of our neighbors. He died in an accident in his home, and all of us who knew him and considered him a friend are shocked. And we're concerned about his wife of 45 years left to pick up the pieces and, and figure out how to move on without her best friend by her side. She has many wonderful and dear friends who will come alongside her and, and walk this journey with her. And we neighbors will look for practical ways to be there for her as well. This man served his country with distinction in the United States Army for 20 years. And then our community as a police officer for 15, the last five years as a detective. And in a display of amazing honor and respect, he was provided a significant police presence and an escort to his final resting place and given full military honors at our local veteran cemetery. As my husband and I joined the procession en route to the cemetery, I commented how moved our friend would have been at the display uh, and the pageantry of it all, and amazed at how many people came out to pay their final respe respects. You know, we're never promised tomorrow. My friend and neighbor, he had plans for the day he left this earth. He had plans for the next week, and the next month, and the next year, and in an instant, everything changed. And while I can't make earthly sense of it, I do know what scripture says. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3 1 tells us there's a time for everything, and that includes a time to die. Those left behind, though, can rest on two promises in scripture. One is in Psalms 147 3, and it says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, he being God. And Jesus' own words in Matthew 5, 7, 5, 4 rather, say, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Don't take tomorrow for granted. If you're in a time of loss and mourning, I pray these reminders of God's concern for the brokenhearted will be of some comfort to you. If you found value in this gem, share it with a friend and follow me on Facebook. This is for me. If you're not already a Joyful Gem subscriber, well, you can change that by logging into my website at thisisforme.com or just email me at audreyjoythisisforme.com. Be joyful.